Well, she has worked with celebrities like Usher, Gwen Stefani, and Blake Shelton to help them decorate and furnish their spaces beautifully. Now she wants to help you revamp your home with some very easy to do ideas. Celebrity decorator Shawnee Moran joins us now. I am all ears, Shawnee. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me on the show. Absolutely. Okay, so let's talk about some things. How to turn our home into our Zen space. First, let's talk about color. Sure. So I'm also the celebration of colors and not being afraid of using colors. Um, and one of the things that I love about colors is that you can use smaller decorative items and exchange them as often as you like, bringing in colors and creating the mood that you'd like to achieve. I really like that. So instead of going all out and you have to cover your furniture and do some painting, you can have colors that you can switch out depending on maybe your mood or the season. How, how often would you recommend changing things up? So you pointed out exactly that. It could be seasonal. It could be for a certain occasion. If you want to get a little bit romantic, then maybe you can bring in some, you know, we have some, our collections are all named for the occasion, so you can bring in something that is more intimate, that is more essential. Um, if you want summer in, then bring in the aquas. There's a lot of ways to just really create the mood that you want to achieve. I'm really, we're showing some of your, uh, of your pictures here of some work that I presume that you've done. I, I really love them, the splash of color. It also looks pretty minimalistic. Um, I, I know clutter can affect productivity. Can the way you design affect your productivity as well? So yes, everybody's talking about working from home right now. And the most important thing is really to pick a point in your home where you can be a little bit more functional um, it's not easy, but I think we all got used to it by now. And, <laughs> yeah. and the point is to just really um, create a, a place that you can be, that you can ignite your energies, focus, and be with your full attention. Okay, and now what I really want to know, because it can be expensive to do a complete overhaul and redecorate, how can we reuse some of the stuff we already have? So you don't have to go all out there, like you're saying, and, and make major changes. Smaller changes create a huge impact if you do them correctly. For example, you can change certain uh, angles of furniture um, and create different and new spots around the house. And that's a very good idea to do, especially with those dead black holes where nobody sits at, mm -hmm. those areas that none of our family members like. You can you know, take a look at them and recreate them. And then, of course, there's things that are lying around the house that we don't use and we don't understand the decorative values. And if we just give it a little thought, and I trust everyone to know and understand that okay. everybody has a certain sense of style within them. Wonderful. And they can do it. Okay, Shawnee, thank you so much. We hope you have a great day, and thank you for joining us. And we've got her information up on the screen right now if you want to go along for some decorating tips. And Jay, speaking of repurposing, <laughs> what's going on in this week's Vegas time capsule?